Hi, I'm Niall from Gulfstream Boat Sales. Here we have 2005 Sea Fox 210 walk-around. Um, it's a seagoing fishing boat with a walk-around four deck. It's fitted with a Mercury 150 horsepower outboard engine. Uh, and the whole package is in really good condition. As far as we know, it's a low hours uh, boat. It doesn't look like it's had very much use at all. It's got good spec on it with a Garmin GPS, chart plotter fish finder, comes on a twin axle trailer and uh, it's got a full set of covers and everything with it so the, the boat is in, uh, is in very good condition so we're going to take a, a walk around the boat, show you all the features on board show you exactly the condition that it's in and just give you a better idea of whether this might be the right boat for you Sea Fox is an American brand, they're based in South Carolina and they've been building boats for the last 20 years or so they've, so they've got a pretty good reputation for building good seagoing boats um, being on the Atlantic coast, you know, they've got to build stuff that can withstand the conditions over there as also um, they're, they're, very, they're, they're well priced, they're good value packages but at the same time fit finish on them is really nice so you've got stainless steel, uh, lots of stainless steel hardware around the boat, stainless steel rod rail inserts, we've got this uh, stainless steel anchor roller stuff at the front um, and it just, it's, the, the boat has a nice lines, you know classic sort of walk around lines and it's um, you know, very rich looking boat so coming down along the port side here you can tell that the um, the gel coat's in really good condition. There's no evidence of any um, any marks or damage or, or stress cracking or anything that I can tell. Uh, coming right down along the side here with a bubble below the rub rail. Uh, the boat's in, uh, in great shape. The current owner of the boat has had it for I think the last five or six years. Uh, during that time he's never kept it in the water for any more than like a week at a time. It's spent the vast majority of it and he's used it extremely, he hasn't really used it at all because he, I think he's got like three boats. So this was just the sea fishing boat, he would take it over to the coast here in Ireland and use it for sort of day fishing trips and if he was away on, on holidays for a week or so he might have left it in the water for that period of time. Taking a look down along this uh, starboard side of the boat as well, you can see that the, the condition of everything is perfect. Again the rub rail, it's in great shape. No damage, impact marks or anything on the, on the gel coat. There's a nice deep shine to it. Um, all the stainless steel work all looks really good as well. All the deck hardware, all the cleats, the rails and everything are all nice and solid, secure. As are like the skin fittings as well. You can see just everything's in perfect shape. You know, it's, there's no like saltwater boat. The vast majority is this, this type of saltwater boat. You'll find that all the chrome work, stainless steel stuff is all like little pot marks with it you know, from just build up a salt corrosion and things, but this one, you can tell it's been lightly used and it's been well looked after, you know, kind of been washed out after use and stuff. And it just makes it look, looks more like a fresh water boat than anything, this one. So, one of the other philosophies behind sea, all these Sea Fox boats is that, although they're built as, you know, a fishing platform and they're well set up to do that, they also know that there's a good chance you're probably going to want to use this as a bit of a family boat. You might want to pull the odd you know, like a towable or a wakeboard behind it and you know, swim off it and have picnics on board and things like that. So it's, it's, a, it's a good all-rounder, it does everything sort of pretty well. So part of that is this nice open transom on the boat. So we've got a folding three-step stainless steel um, swim ladder. We've got molded decking across the transom and you, there's, there's lots of room in front of the engine, between the front of the engine and this raised transom molding so you can walk across the back of the, back of the boat in front of the engine. And you can access this another little platform on the uh, on the starboard side of the boat as well. So you know if you are using the boat for water sports or for swimming, access in and out is really good. There's an open transom gate then to get down into the cockpit. Um, similarly, in terms of like from a you know equipment point of view, it's 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 well set up here. So we've got this uh, saltwater series Mercury 150 horsepower outboard engine. So being a saltwater series, she's, you know, she's operated for use in salt water. You've got this little flushing attachment thing, so if you are keeping the boat in the water, you can flush it through with fresh water after each use. And um, it's just going to stand up to a bit more abuse um, whenever it's being used in the sea. It's an oil-injected two-stroke engine. It is in really good condition, both externally and internally. It, we're missing, for some reason, we're missing the, the, the power identifier sticker on the, on the, on the badge here, but all the serial number badges and everything are on here. You know, giving you the serial number, the horsepower rate, and all that sort of stuff. But I don't know why that sticker is gone. But apart from that, it is in really good condition. There's no damage on the cowling or anything. All these lower casings all look really good. Even the props in good condition. 
and bar one little small notch out of the skeg, which is pretty normal. I mean, it could have caught that on a slipway or something. Um, it's really nothing to worry about. And apart from that, the, the engine's in great shape. It's starting running really well, gives about a good turn of speed, um, but you can check out the water test footage as well so you can see just how well the, the boat goes. Um, we'll also uh, just take a quick look onto the hood now to show you the sort of condition of things um, up close. So as you can see then, taking a look onto the hood, um, the engine's in, in perfect condition, you know, there's no corrosion in there. Um, it looks like a real low hours example, so like what the owner's telling us sort of stacks up. Um, there's no oil leaks, no evidence of any oil leaks, water leaks, uh, the electrics and everything around this side as well. The electrics and everything around this side are, are all uh, really good. So yeah, condition wise the engine is, um, is in excellent shape. Taking a look at a couple of the other bits and pieces on the transom of the boat. You can see it's fitted with a pair of uh, Lanco uh, trim tabs. You can control the, uh, the running angle of the boat. Um, you know, in a crosswind with those, or if you've got a heavy load on board, you can drop both of them down and it'll play easier, play at lower speeds. And another great feature is if you're trawling in this boat, you know, just going along at slow speed, if you drop those two tabs as well, it sort of helps you track in a straight line and stuff. The boat's fitted with a, an auxiliary outboard bracket. This will carry up to about 10 horsepower um, outboard engine. It uses a backup, so it'll give you a bit of extra peace of mind if you are going to sea in this boat. Um, and, um, Few other like there's little there's access lockers in here for the uh, this in the battery um, box on the other side. Good access into the remote oil tank. So this is an oil injection, two-stroke motor, and the uh, the oil tank lives underneath the hatch on the on the port side there in, in the transom. So everything's nice and easy to access for service and maintenance and, and your sort of routine checks and things. So coming into the cockpit, then you come in through the opening transom gate, and um, it's a pretty decent sized cockpit here. There's, all the decks are molded non-skid. It's obviously self-bailing as well, so if you take any you know, water over the side of the boat, it's gonna drain overboard straight away. Um, we've got a helm seat and a passenger seat in behind this, this uh, central console in the boat, so it's a good high console, a good high screen, and that it, uh, it gives the, 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 the helmsman and the passenger really good protection for the elements. There's also enough, uh, enough room back here for you, you could seat another couple of people. The boat is rated to carry up to eight passengers on board. Um, and you'll quite comfortably fish probably two or three people out of the, this aft cockpit. And there's room up in the foredeck as well. Um, so if you want to do fish, if you want to fish from up there, you can as well. So um, condition wise, everything's in pretty good shape here. We've got plenty of storage. You know, we've got storage compartments in underneath both of these uh, seating uh, consoles. Uh, they'll double up as like, bait wells as well um, and we've got nice sort of bait preparation area here on the transom access into another live well we've got fenders and rope stored in here at the minute and then this is an aerated uh, tank as well so you um, you can use that also um, so yeah condition wise everything's all, all you know it's all stainless steel hardware clips catches and stuff like that it's all really good we've got these cushion uh, bolsters up against the gunnels here as well. These are molded non-skid. We've got integrated rod holders on both sides of the uh, the gunnel tops, and they're just at a nice height. You know, they come up to about your thigh height, so you know you feel pretty safe and secure in here, if, even if you are bringing a fish in over the over the side. So the um, the the, cons the the actual center console itself is centrally located in the boat. So we've got side decks of equal width up both the port and starboard side, and um, You've got handrails integrated in here on the on the, the up superstructure molding and then the rails themselves again they give you pretty good protection as you move forward up on the fore deck of the boat. So there's decent space up here in the fore deck. Again the, the rails come up to sort of just below your knee height wise. Um, we've got this integrated anchor roller at the front. We've got access into the uh, the chain locker, anchor locker down below. Um, so you can um, you can mount a windlass there if you want to, but the, the chain runner, this chain guide goes in there. Um, all the stainless steel cleats, everything's nice, solid, secure, molded, non-skip decks. And we've also got these little molded in uh, panels on the, um, on the roof of the cabin as well. So if you want to sit up here, you can do that. And they've got access hatch into the cabin too. So you've got that for, you know, for letting a bit of air in through the boat and also for safety. You know, if anybody gets the cabin door, jams up or something you can get out through the uh, through the deck hatch and you can also open that from the outside as well with these handles. So again condition wise it's all really good up here. 
we've got a pretty good helm position with this wraparound console giving you excellent protection from the elements. Nice big windscreen which gives you clear visibility um, through it whenever you're in a seating position at the helm. The seats are adjustable fore and aft and things. And um, you've, you've also got enough room with the seat back, you've got plenty of room to stand at the helm as well. So if you want to stand and look over the top of the windscreen, you can do that uh, quite comfortably. In terms of the equipment that we've got here, we've got these Mercury engine gauges. So we've got a Speedo battery voltmeter, uh, Taco RPM gauge, and also fuel gauge. We've got an integrated Ritchie compass. We've got a Garmin GPS map 555S. So it's a five inch screen combination chart plotter and fish finder. Uh, we've got a CD player and down below the steering position here, um, stereo CD player. And, um, and then we've got a bank of switches for all our 12 volt equipment, cabin lights, navigation lights, bilge pump, radar pump, uh, GPS and accessory power and stuff. So that they've got their own individual uh, circuit breakers as well there. Um, and then over on this other side, we've got the controls for the, the trim tabs on the transom along with their throttle and shift lever which again is pretty well placed on this boat um, so it's nice and easy you know close short reach from the steering wheel we've got integrated cubby holes on both the the helmsman side and the passenger side with a little bit of storage in there and integrated cup holders and um, the boat goes pretty well you know the, the, the 150 horsepower engine gives it a good turn of speed um, but what we'll do is we'll, sh we'll show you the water test footage now we put this boat through its paces in the water and give it a good run out so we'll show you how it performs uh, underway and you can see for yourself um, how well it goes but that, that performance combined with like the hull shape and the pronounced bow, prow rails on the bow this protection from the, the, the wraparound console does make this a very good sea going fishing boat One of the benefits of this style of walk around boat is that you get a huge big cubby cabin because you've got this elevated superstructure you get great headroom in there and um, it means that you know it is a genuine you know family boat so you can go out with your kids they've got a space to climb in out of the way and even if you're out you know 
two or three guys out fishing and the rain comes on, you want to get in and make a cup of tea or something, you can do that. So we've got this split folding door um, giving us access into the cabin. So that's all in good condition, it's lockable and stuff. And it's one easy step out. I just want to climb in here to show you the sort of headroom. So you've got loads of headroom in here. Um, the, it, I think it fills in to make a bear berth, but it, it's really too short to sleep on. So this is not, you know, this is not like a, it's really not a sleeping cabin, but it's great for day use. You can fire all your gear down in here out of the way. The kids can come down in and get protection from the elements and stuff. And uh, it just, yeah, just gives you a bit of added, added sense of security and stuff in the boat. In terms of uh, covers then, this boat has this little bimini top, so it's really like a sunshade, but I mean, you could put it up if it starts raining and get, gives you a bit of extra protection, but there's no filler piece to go between here and the windscreen, but again, it wouldn't be the hardest thing in the world to get somebody to make you up a little piece that goes from the, the top down onto the windscreen and wraps around the side, so it does give you a proper little spray hood as well. But covers in good shape, all the bars and everything are, are there and, and present and correct. And then the boat also has a, a tonneau cover where you can see the button poppers along the bottom of the screen and they go right the way around the, the back end of the, the cockpit. So there's a black tonneau cover that you can put over the boat to keep it. So if you are keeping it on a Merlin or trailering it, or keeping it at home so that the, um, you know, you don't, the boat's not left completely open to the elements, you can throw on that tonneau cover for storage. So um, yeah, they're, they're both in good shape and they're included with the boat. So there you go, that's the uh, 2005 Sea Fox uh, 210 walk around. So as you can see, the boat's in really nice condition. It looks the part. Um, it's a good package with 150 horsepower saltwater series, mercury outboard, chart plotter, fish finder, and, um, and uh, complete with this twin axle trailer. So we think it's a low hours example. There's no hour clock on it to verify that, but it, it has all the, the hallmark signs of a low hours boat and um, I think it represents great value for money at the asking price. So if you're interested and you'd like to come and have a look at the boat um, or ask me any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch. You can drop me an email or give me a call or if you fill out the callback request form on this page of the website, I will um, get in touch with you at a time that's convenient. Thanks very much for watching.